Hey, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 20 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. We uh, made a made a commitment at the beginning to do 52 weeks, and we're uh, getting close to being halfway there. So thanks for joining in. And and a big part of the show today is we want to talk about all of the support we've gotten. We got to go to a couple of shows, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. And so we'll talk a little bit about those shows and and uh, meeting with people, the support that y'all are giving us, we really appreciate it. And speaking of that, if you're new to the show, like, subscribe, follow, share, comment, all those good things. And uh, those of you that are reptile genetic nerds, fellow nerds, I know you're already subscribed. So, um, so for the update uh, for shed testing, um, with the shows going on and you know, with Sean and I being out of town and, and back and forth and getting back on top of things. And then coming back from California, I was sick for two or three days. <laughs> so I got slowed down a bit. Um, but anyway, we uh, will have a, a run going this week that is for research. And so some of you that were at the Pomona show and gave me sheds there, um, I will not be able to start that run till Thursday. So I'll have results probably over the weekend. Um, that's when those results will come out. And then the following week, next week, is when we will have uh, another large run going. And so those of you that you didn't get results on the last big dump uh, that was right before the Pomona show, and you know your sheds have been in for a little bit, uh, they should be on that next run, which will be the end. So in about 10 days, a little less than two weeks, um, should be when those results are coming. So, So we're on it. Uh, we got slowed down a little, but we got to talk and, and meet with a lot of people. We got both Kayla and Sean here to talk a little bit about the people that we met over these last couple of weeks. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hello, everybody. Sean's got a new title. Yes, he does. The professional show attender and cop impersonator. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> everyone told Sean he looks like a cop. So Everyone in Daytona thinks I was a police officer, an undercover <laughs> police officer. That all started it, and it carried through the entire show up until the conclusion where a 12-year-old boy walked up and asked me if he could use my cell phone because I was the only safe-looking person. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's not made up, and it wasn't BS. It was a real lost kid who needed help to find his mom. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it's good you looked official and helpful. Yeah. I I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about uh, um, Pomona was our first uh, first round here. Yeah. So I uh, started out getting to L.A. Um, Friday night and met up with Randy uh, from Dark Cloud Reptiles and John Feely from Feely's Clutch. And he also does a podcast outside the clutch. Um, so we uh, spent the evening. We uh we're going to go to this awesome Mexican restaurant that Randy knew about. And uh, we felt like old guys because we get there and it's like, oh, we're closing in five minutes. We're like, yeah, well, it's like eight o'clock, but I guess we just don't oh. know. We're old enough to not know this place closes at eight. So anyway, mm -hmm. it's it's late for us and we just don't know those restaurants close at eight. So, <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> We go, well, at least John, John's not that old, but Randy and I are older. So uh, so anyway, we ended up going to an Applebee's and had a real good time just talking snakes for a good hour and a half. It was it was pretty cool. And uh, so they gave me a ride from from there to the to the show, to the uh, hotel that's right by the show. And uh, at the show, got to meet lots of people. So Mike from Insane Clown Pythons, this is the shirt he gave me. Uh, got to meet. Yeah, you can go ahead and go. Oh, OK got to meet uh gray's reptiles so their their whole family they've sent in lots of sheds to help us out in designing new tests and as a family the the girls there were talking to me about ball pythons i i remember i was saying something about needing hurricane and, and it'd be cool to have it in clown and one of them's like well how much do you think you'd be able to spend on that project or something like that i was like oh okay they're already they got sales going all right <laughs> so, look at them <laughs> yes i was like well i gotta fly home and 
Yeah, I, I can't do it right now, but I'll keep yeah. you all in mind. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it was really nice. I've met, I've talked with them, you know, several times online. Very cool to meet them in person. And Adler here, um, I know yeah. you got the the name of his business, right, Kayla? Yeah, uh, Adler Romero um, of Serpent Eclipse Reptiles. Yes. So Adler is really helpful, uh, willing to help. But we were trying to find the person that won the raffle and. <laughs> He knew a Corey that was like way on the other side of the place <laughs> went to try and ask. It wasn't the same Corey, but. Oh, um, I see. And then Saturday night, uh, also hanging out with John and Adler. There's several other people there. It was cool hanging out, talking and, and laughing about reptiles and reptile people, people and uh, shows and show people. Yeah. <laughs> it was good times. All right. Um and then Hutch's Clutches, both uh, both those uh, owners were, were at the table and especially interested in the raffle and unfortunately didn't get it. But she actually was the one that told Corey that he should he should enter. And uh, he ended up entering and he ended up winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I told her, I was like, you know what, I'm I'm it's my wife that's so good at remembering pictures. And then Kayla reminded me a few times, hey, send me a picture of this, take a video of that. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway, I should have taken a picture with with all these people. But I do have a few logos here. Uh, Brian Bodie, Bomb Projects and uh, Matt Byram, uh, the Snake Keeper. I got to talk with Dan Sutherland quite a bit uh, the very first day at the very beginning. It was cool catching up with him. Yeah. High Desert Python, Civil Serpents, and I, I know there's many more. Uh, Donald Grinstead, I talked to him for quite a while. He's in Arizona. Uh, Matt Yates, uh, there's a long list. I know, I, I'm sorry if I forget somebody that I uh, was hoping I would remember, but there's lots of really cool uh, breeders there. A lot of good excitement and enthusiasm, and it was a lot of fun. Um, also, a lot of people, a lot of people wait, probably don't know that TSK is where you did all your research for your dissertation, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yep, that's where I did my PhD work was with a uh, about I think it was close to ten thousand or uh, was it ten thousand eggs? Yeah, I think it was close to ten thousand eggs over ten. And Colette over there, yeah. Wow. Yep. I would keep bringing that up because I, I I've always thought that was wicked cool, and there's yeah. so many people in the hobby that probably still don't know that that this <laughs> yeah a lot of where this started is really in their snake room. There's a good chance I'm still the only one that did a dissertation on captive bred um, pythons. <laughs> So That's cool. a weird one. Yeah. So another really cool show of support from Dark Cloud Reptiles, besides let you know, giving me a ride from the restaurant to the the show and letting me set up a table <clears throat> right by his. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my throat's still a little messed up from being sick. You're all um, good. So he also was the one that donated the animal. So this was a five thousand dollar puzzle combo that he donated for the raffle and we got had lots of people come by and lots of tickets sold and uh it was i think if i remember right Kay, it was a little over three thousand dollars raised so yeah i think right at three thousand dollars raised so like over like over the um value of the animal and uh yeah no the support the outpouring of support was so cool yes yes and Corey was the person that won it was super excited that's right. Um, so that was great. Uh, there's me holding the the uh, puzzle boy before he got given away. Yeah. <clears throat> so then after the show, the uh, picture there on the right, Oscar Negrete. So I uh, got an Uber to take me uh, toward the airport. And I'll talk about where I went uh, in just a second. But my Uber driver ended up being a member, uh, a former, he's retired now. He said he'd been retired for three years, but he was a professional boxer. He was on on the uh, Colombian Olympic team a few years back and actually did fight for the world title in his weight class, but he did lose, but he was the number one contender. Um, so anyway, that was That's really awesome. cool. Yeah, I had like an hour drive talking to a professional boxer. It was really fun. Yeah. And uh, when we were stopped at stoplights, he'd bring up videos of people he's training and, you know, guys getting knocked out. He's like, he's got to do this. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun. Oh, man. <laughs> so I, I do some jujitsu. I don't do the striking, but I, I'm interested in all that kind of stuff. But yeah. that, was, that was pretty cool. He said he gets up each day. He drives as much as he wants for Uber and picks up his kids at like two or three o'clock when they're done with school. And then he goes and trains fighters and loves it. So, oh, that's it was awesome. Cool. Right after leaving the reptile show, people doing something they love, the Uber right? driver doing what he loves. And, oh. and then he took me to Tortuga uh, Brewing. 
So this is uh, Joe's place and uh, Randy always brings him up and I know why he's super, super happy, kind person. And he's worked hard. He started this brewing company from nothing. And he told me some stories about getting some of the equipment um, really cheap, but having to figure out how to make everything work and crazy oh hours. But I got to, uh, <clears throat> I got to work the line a little bit. They were canning when I got there and, we're down a person for a little bit because of a sprinkler incident. So oh. <laughs> I got to help out with the brewing, uh, with the canning and see how that works. And it was really cool. And then he gave me a ride to LAX for after that. So that was, that was awesome. Thanks, Joe. Oh, Joe. That's awesome. And he also mentioned, Sean, I was going to tell you, um, if we go that way again, he said he'd love to do a RGI, um, you know, kind of, uh, co-sponsoring kind of a thing for us and have a get together there at the, the brewing company. Yeah. If we go that way again. He'd love to make that happen. Okay. So I guess so I'm going to California next year. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So what about you, Sean? Did you have fun at, uh, at Daytona? Yeah. Daytona was good. So I got in a little bit late on Friday. Um, I want to, I want to thank some of you guys. And I do want to shout out to the person who walked up to me for the first time in my life while I was sitting alone having dinner. And was like, Sean, dude, what's up? We really like the YouTube show. And I was completely unprepared prepared for it. And all I could say was, I don't know you. That's, that's <laughs> the first four words out of my mouth. And I, I, in my 53 years of existence, I've never had someone walk up to me and recognize me like I was someone that they knew that I didn't know. Um, I think of course, I snapped out of it. I, now. I, I, I was nice to him and his wife and his kids. And they said they appreciated the show that really is you guys. I just pop in every once in a while. Um, <laughs> I did thank them for that. And then they walked off. But that was an odd experience. Oh. Um, uh, the show was great. Two full rooms of uh, vendors. It's been about nine years since uh, I've been back there. Um, so the first pictures that are up here, um, the folks from Grace Family Reptiles are right there. They were looking for me Saturday, couldn't find me. So they came by. The shop on Sunday. That's also behind me directly with the uh, mad scientist beard. That's Chad Lattle from uh, REL Labs uh, and the original founder, Ernie, there on the right. And uh, Ernie's in his 70s and retired in Florida now. So that's generally the only show you're going to see him at there and maybe at, at Tinley occasionally. We saw him at Tinley last year. Yeah. But that was a lot of fun. Chad's your man for uh, all things RNA. So when you need your NIDO tests and things like that, uh, they do lots and lots of veterinary testing. General turnaround time for them is a day or less. So I'm wow. spending a lot of time with Chad at his lab in Allen, which is not far from our lab in McKinney, to learn how to refine our processes. And uh, they've been fantastic. And they're also helping train some uh, new lab techs for us. So that's good. Um, Tom Harbin was there on uh, Saturday night, came and grabbed a show only shirt, and he is wearing it on Sunday in, uh, in yeah. his booth, which was great. Tom, we appreciate the support. Thank you very much for yeah. supporting our stuff and then I'll, actually there was a, another person there whose name i don't remember that had bought a hat for he and his wife and they were both wearing our hats on sunday while standing in front of tom's booth also wearing our, <laughs> our brand so it's it's kind of oh. cool to see it floating around yeah. out there a little bit thank you for the uh, support i don't know what other slides that you kill has so okay yeah. so uh, on the left there that is barkley powell she's a phd student with about a year left she pulled me out of the auction um, and chatted with me for a good 90 minutes. It was a really, really positive and, and fun conversation. We had a good time. And oh. that person's name, I don't remember next to me, is a hognose breeder. If we zoom in really close, we can find his name. It's I think it's something Vaughn, but I can't oh. remember his first name. Uh, anyway, lots of hognose breeders at this show. I mean, like big guys with big names, with big tables full of some of the prettiest hognose I've ever seen. Uh, so partly we kind of instrumental evil. introducing me to all those folks because we have a big push right now going on to try and collect hognose sheds so that we can get some mutation work done for them next year. And yes. it sounds like they're going to try and, uh, and, you know, maybe do a GoFundMe and then pool some money together so they can fund an actual full genome project on some wild type hognose. They, they would like to go that route. Um, to try and get some mutations. And there's only 40 or so known hognose mutations. So yep. that's one of those things that if they go the full genome route, we could probably nail almost all, if not all of them down in 18 months yeah. or so. So that one one individual in particular, I won't drop his name, said, if nobody else will do it, I'll pay for it because that's the way to do it. So we'll see. Wow. Obviously on the right there that summer uh, with Canova, she was there by herself, I think. I think one of the other guys was there from Canova, but it wasn't Sebastian or uh, Justin, of course, she was talking about um, the clutch software. Um, they've got a lot of really 
cool stuff coming up in October. Things that I know about and that I've seen, but I'm not authorized to speak of just yet because it'll all be released in October. But um, really cool stuff there. So that was a, a bunch of fun. And obviously, you always have to get a picture with Summer because she's just awesome. Yeah. Um, who else we got? Okay, so Kayla, I don't know if you want to run with this or not. Uh, before you do, though, I, I did want to say there's a few other people. Um, Stephen and uh, Courtney from Leviathan came by specifically, spent a good amount of time with me at the show. Um, we may actually have an announcement with them coming up in the few in the next few weeks, which would uh, be kind of cool. Um, I got to speak with Darian for the first time. Never met Darian from Morph Market, um, the guy who purchased Morph Market from John. Um, yeah. Lots of phone calls, lots of emails. Never met him in person. Got to spend a good amount of time with him. Um, that was really encouraging. He's a really cool guy. Uh, I like him a lot. Um, I think that's everybody. There's probably several people that I met, and I'm not mentioning you. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm great with faces, not as good with names, especially when I'm given a seven or eight minute notice that we're about to make a <laughs> live video. And I'm not <laughs> guilty. So, yeah. No, so, we were just like, hey, maybe we should invite Sean. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> to, be, to be fair to them, a lot of the photos and stuff they don't have yet because I mean, I literally just got back this morning from Daytona. Yeah. So, but uh, it was a good show. Pardon me, goodness, I had a lot of fun. Um, if you guys want some of the show on the RGI merch, which is I think what she was bringing up, yep. we have three different shirt designs. Um, I sold about 20% of the stuff that I brought, which is about what I expected, but I still have every single size. Um, so if you guys want to reach out to me at raregeninc at gmail.com and let me know that you're interested in a shirt, um, I'll get back with you with how you can pay for it. Um, Cash App, Venmo, all that stuff are probably the best and easiest mm -hmm. things for everybody. PayPal, stuff like that. Uh, and I'll get them in the mail to you this week. So everybody who ordered a shirt from Ben last week and who uh, is expecting me to mail one from the show this week, um, that's all going to be happening tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll get them out, out the door. Yeah. All right. Um, what well, is that? <laughs> <laughs> the therapist. Flurry Sean is, is in that? real. Did you do that on purpose? What? Oh, uh, okay. You, Context. You apparently um, sent that to her. <laughs> I did, but then I said, whoops. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> picture. I don't know. You got it. And I was like, man, I just. That was the first picture with Barkley that I, I was. A, I, I hit the, the photo button before I was ready. And I'm like, whoops, sorry. Yeah. And I, I'll know not to do that again. <laughs> it's all done with love. We promise. Mm -hmm. I figured it'd be here. It'd be fun. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all we got for today, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, ben, Sean, you got anything else? Don't. Just thanks. Thanks again for the support. It was definitely a lot of fun meeting everybody and uh, look forward to Tinley show will be the next one that I'll be able to go to. Sean's planning to go to. And uh, I guess Kayla were in talks about maybe having her go to to uh, Arlington. To Arlington. Yeah. I think yeah. Kayla and maybe Allie will both be our representatives at uh, and one of them will be at the tables wearing obvious obvious logo stuff while the oh, other yeah. one is walking around the show. So. The, yeah, I think that, like fun. unfortunately yeah. I can't be there in Arlington's my backyard. So it's a little embarrassing, but I have a prior engagement, so I can't, I can't go to that one, but okay. it is twice a year. So I'll go six months later. That's your, that's your law enforcement training week, right? Yeah. yeah that's, it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to die now. Is it? Now that no. you've put it out on YouTube, it's never going to die. <laughs> it's it's going to go on and on forever. It's I mean, my military bearing. Okay. I'm a Marine. It's, it's, I come across as a, Nice yeah. clean cut guy. That's all. Yeah. I, I mean, hey, if I had known about if I'd known about the cop impersonator thing, like I would have altered my meme to match, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> but all right, guys. Uh everybody make sure uh to like, comment, subscribe, um, share this with your friends. Uh and yeah, thanks again for all of the support these past couple of weekends. And uh I guess we'll call that a wrap. Thanks, thanks guys. guys. Bye. Outro in three, two, one.